in full zoom is presented by Calvo Enterprises Inc. and IT&E. I'm Nestor Lecanto and our guest this week is Miss Allison Hermanson, who is the new executive director of the Guam Girl Scouts. Allison, welcome. Thank you so much for having me today. First of all, uh, before we talk about the Girl Scouts, tell us a little bit about yourself, your background and your experience. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm actually a real live living Girl Scout. <laughs> um, I started in first grade, so not going to date myself, but that was a long time ago. <laughs> um, I continued through Girl Scouts and received my gold award, which is the highest level you can receive as a Girl Scout in 2001, and then turned my membership into a lifetime membership. Um, I have served as a Girl Scout leader for five years now doing daisies and brownies. And um, I was an Air Force flight medic for 14 years, took a 10-year break in the workforce um, to start a family, have three little kiddos, and am now um, just fortunate to take this role on here at Guam with the Girl Scout. So I'm super excited to do that. So what, what brought you back to the work, work, uh, workforce? Um, I think just the right position and the right time. So um, it's not something that I was necessarily looking for, but the right time, the right moment, um, my, my Christianity, praying and just this position just happened to open up and it was essentially the right time and the right place just it it worked together what are your uh, some of your fondest memories as a, a girl scout a brownie girl, growing up in the organization oh gosh um the people i've met just it's indescribable the relationships and the sisterhood you make um the opportunities as a girl scout that we got um through the avenues of learning Girl Scout cookie selling is um, cliche, cliche, but it really does bring an entrepreneurship to your um, early formative years. So the trips we get to take and the opportunities, they're actually, they were called wider opportunities. When I was a Girl Scout, they're now called Girl Scout destinations. And I would get to apply through my Girl Scout Council and get chosen to go represent my state even um, and go on these trips. The friends I've made on those, we've remained lifelong friends. We were in each other's weddings, godmothers to each other's children, and still have a relationship through Girl Scout. So um memories that you just can't replace yeah and that's that's kind of one of the benefits of being a girl scout though right yeah, because the, the friends that you make as a girl scout are, are are girls that probably share a lot of your same interests and they become your lifelong friends yeah exactly uh, most definitely and so our family situation is a little unique um, my daughters they're military brats so we move every two to three years and being in this program, whenever we get to a new installation, we just have to say we're a Girl Scout and the Girl Scout sisters come out of the woodwork. So they have the uniqueness with the military families already connecting, but then they get to meet the Girl Scouts in the community as well and form a bond there that they necessarily wouldn't have. So um Again, it's just a unique position and Girl Scouts unite everywhere we go and we understand and we we know each we know each other without meeting each other. There's just a, kind of a sense, right? You get a, a, a spidey sense that, oh, yeah, she was a Girl Scout. Yeah. <laughs> just in the way their mannerisms and how they respond to people. Correct. Yes. Um, Girl Scouts are always prepared and we always maintain our Girl Scout promise and law and um a true Girl Scout embodies those throughout their daily living. So yes, you can definitely tell when someone is very serious about their Girl Scout Girl Scouting. Talk a little bit about those laws of being a Girl Scout. What are what are some of those fundamental things that that um, kind of uh, represent the the organization? Um, so we are 
considerate and caring. We're friendly and helpful. We're respectful of ourselves and others. Um, we use our resources wisely. We are a sister to every Girl Scout and um, we're just good stewards of our, our community. And um, we respect God and our authority um, in our community. We just make the world a better place and um, uphold those ethos. In Full Zoom is presented by Calvo Enterprises, Inc. and IT&E. GU Self Storage, conveniently located near the Harmon McDonald's. We offer affordable rates, online payments, and auto bill pay for your convenience. Plus, gate access daily from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Call us today at 648-7867 for more information. In Full Zoom is presented by Calvo Enterprises, Inc. and IT&E. You mentioned earlier about the uh, Girl Scout cookies. Now everybody knows about that. Tell us, tell us about how that program works and what is your favorite particular uh, Girl Scout cookie? <laughs> uh, yeah, so Girl Scout cookies. Um, hopefully, we'll be starting to sell on Island December sixth this year, um, and we'll be out in the community with cookie booths this year. I know COVID has dampened that experience in the last couple of years but we're definitely going to be um, in the community more this year. Uh, we have eight cookies and they are releasing a new cookie this year. Unfortunately, it's going to be online sales only. So um, I don't know if a lot of um, people on Island will get to try them, but we'll definitely try to get those out. My favorite cookie is the bread. We known as the truff. It's a pretty basic butter cookie um but it's so delicious and it's like perfect any time of the day so with your morning coffee or a bedtime treat it's not too sweet and it's just perfect um thin mints would probably be the second because those are so good frozen and it's just like a good 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 after dinner snack so um but yes girl scout cookies they're five dollars a box this year and december 6th will be our pre-sales and you should have them in your hands by the end of February. So be on the lookout in December. You mentioned it online sales only, so there won't be any door-to-door uh, -to -door by the Girl Scouts? Um, no, we, we will be door-to-door -door, um, in your local community. Um, the new cook that's called the Raspberry Rally, unfortunately, is only going to be available online sales this year. Um, they're going to try out a new a new avenue for the new cookie this year and see how that goes. Um, but yes, so that won't be available door to door, but the other eight will be. All right. So as a, a, form, a former uh, Girl Scout and now the Girl Scout executive director, what are some of your uh, sales uh, tactics when you knock on that door and try to try to push your cookies? It, it's already hard to, to say no. <laughs> Exactly. I was like, do we really have to have a sales technique? I think they sell themselves, but just being uh, just sweet in your disposition and considerate. And um, I don't know who can refuse a cute Girl Scout at their door asking if they want to buy cookies. Um, there is always the option as well if you aren't able to eat them or... Um, you're not able to consume them yourself, you can donate. So there's always the option to support the Girl Scouts and donate. And the troop is, um, they still get the credit for that donation and they get to choose who they donate to. So ask your girl when she's asking you um, if you'd like to buy some and you're not able to purchase them for yourself, say, where is your troop donating to this year? And they should tell you which organization, um, a lot choose the USO, some choose the hospital, the harvest house, and then you would purchase set amount of boxes, they would get the credit for that. And then they would deliver those boxes to the harvest house to the USO. And you can still contribute into that Girl Scouts life. And then also help the community by donating those cookies as well. All right, as I mentioned, you are the new executive director of the Guam Girl Scouts. Um, what are your, your plans uh, initially? What, what are your goals uh, as you start this, this new, uh, new job? Um, 
to get community outreach, a lot of people are unaware of the um, perks, shall you say, what Girl Scouting can bring into your life. Uh, there, we're just as competitive as college scholarships for sports. There's money for higher education for opportunities within Girl Scouts. So um, it's not just selling Girl Scout cookies and cute badges. There is um, lifelong um, benefits to being a Girl Scout. So just getting out into the community to educate those um, perks, shall you say, and just building the community partnership again. COVID really did a damper on um, our membership and our community outreach. So just getting those membership numbers up and um, working on getting a strong Girl Scout force is my number one priority. In Full Zoom is presented by Calvo Enterprises, Inc. and IT&E. GU Self Storage, conveniently located near the Harmon McDonald's. We offer affordable rates, online payments, and auto bill pay for your convenience. Plus, gate access daily from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Call us today at 648-7867 for more information. In Full Zoom is presented by Calvo Enterprises, Inc. and IT&E. How has it been, um, the Girl Scouts, been in, in most recent years? How's the organization fared? I know I'm probably the pandemic has kind of, like it has done everything, kind of put a little bit of a damper. It has, it has. Um, thankfully, our Girl Scout partners have been so diligent at doing um, virtual meeting options and everything. Um, I think a lot of people did get the whole virtual fatigue though with the, with the pandemic. So um, we are up and running and meeting in person again and doing the fun activities. Of course, it's just taking the time to get the program up and running again. So we are full force and ready and excited to have the girls back in the program. Um, the numbers did, did drop a little bit last year um, as people were, is it safe? Is it unsafe? You know, getting back into the, the daily stride. So of course we want to keep everyone, um, with their, their own health safety issues, like precautions in mind, but we're ready to rock and roll. So if, yeah, let's have fun. <laughs> what, what are your numbers now? And do you have like a target that you want to reach within a certain time uh, frame? Yeah, so our numbers right now are um, showing in stride with our um, goal. We would like to have um, 500 members by the end of the year. So we're working hard for that. We're um, about a little over 100 registered girls right now. So we definitely have a lofty goal. But I think if we get the information out there and are enthusiastic, we can definitely for sure next year have um, our goal starting out. Wow, that's pretty ambitious. You're going to want to quadruple your force. <laughs> we're trying we're definitely starting so the girl scout year starts in october so we have just a full month of um uh an active 2022 20, year um but we're definitely working hard at getting our information out there so yeah how, how do you go about uh recruitment um you know do, do you go to the schools do you go to church uh, organizations uh, and, and and give me an example of your, your sales pitch? <laughs> um, so we actually go to schools. I'm actually sitting in a school right now in their resource room. So I'm at Anderson Elementary doing this interview right now. We have gone to um, another school already. We went last week to a school. So we're definitely um, available to go to the schools. We're at a parent-teacher conference right now, so we can talk to the parents. And we have flyers and just show, we have some Girl Scout cookies here today to give out. So <laughs> everyone's like, oh, I'm a cookie. And then we bring them in and say like, oh, well, here's a cookie for some information, right? Um, <laughs> just showing them what we've done in the past with activities and explaining to them some of the benefits, showing them the cute patches and the opportunities they get to learn about is our sales pitch. And it's, again, we really don't have to sell. It's it's just an organization that 
is so wholesome and so amazing that you just explain how excited you are and girls like oh gosh I want in sign me up yeah you just got to tell them about the organization if they don't already know you know you tell them about the values I guess of the organization and how that benefits their their child yeah correct yeah and it's it is easier um for the younger levels so our daisies are kindergarten and first grade and our brownies are second and third grade and it is a lot easier at those younger ages um, because parents, you know, take you there and do it. It um, Our junior level, which is at um, fourth and fifth grade, is where we do see the memberships um, starting to decline. And that's because, you know, sports are starting to compete and they're getting busier with other things. But again, like I said, that education and and letting them this is a lifetime word it's not it's not just that yet um the goal brought me into the military two ranks higher at enlistment it also gave me college scholarships that I was not privy to or didn't wouldn't have had access to if I didn't have that award so um we're definitely trying to outreach to those older girls too and it's never too late to join it's never too late as a high school senior you can still join and we can help hustle and get that, get those projects done. In Full Zoom is presented by Calvo Enterprises, Inc. and IT&E. GU Self Storage, conveniently located near the Harmon McDonald's. We offer affordable rates, online payments, and auto bill pay for your convenience. Plus, gate access daily from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Call us today at 648-7867 for more information. In Full Zoom is presented by Calvo Enterprises, Inc. and IT&E. Yeah, you know, the, this um, new generation, these younger girls uh, are growing up in what uh, I would call a digital world where social media is very pervasive. Um, you're still a young woman, but back in maybe in when you were first joining Girls Health, it, it wasn't really like that. So uh, how, how has it changed and, and what impact has, uh, you know, the digital world have on uh, young girls? Um, it's changed quite a bit. So our STEM projects and our, um, our the whole Girl Scouts organization has definitely gone more to that mindset. Um, we have a lot of uh, programs that girls can do. If So like for instance, here on Guam, they might not have as many opportunities to do the workshops and whatnot but Girl Scouts as a whole has created and partnered with big tech programs to allow um, seminars and digital seminars for them to um, hone into those skills a little bit more. Um, so Girl Scouts takes that very seriously and is very on trend with the local needs and wants of what is um, popular. So they're constantly coming out with new badge work and new opportunities to earn and learn those skills. Um, and one thing I like about the different badge work is it's kind of like a little hobby survey taker. So one week we might do photography and then the next one we might learn about pets and the next one we might do a dance activity. And it's just a little sampler for your girl to try it versus, oh, let's see if you're interested in dance. Go sign up for dance. You put all this money into it. You find out you don't like it. And then now what? So Girl Scouts gives you a little taste of almost every type of hobby. And then you can take that and hone into that specific skill on your own time. Yeah. What sort of challenges, though, does, uh, you know, social media present to, in, in attracting girls to 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 come out to the Girl Scouts? Because sometimes they might tend to be more uh, reclusive, just stay at home and and do their social media as opposed to going out and actually meeting uh, other, uh, you know, persons their age and uh, doing activities. Um, so social media is great, except if you're not already aware of Girl Scouts, you're probably not seeing that in your feed. So it's just getting that community awareness and getting us out there, getting Girl Scouts to be a familiar family name um, and that they're finding us on social media so we can get into their, um, like penetrate their social media, I guess. Um, 
once you're in the organization, though, I feel like it, social media is a blessing because it connects us to all these avenues. So it's just a matter of getting that outreach and getting the excitement, the initial excitement. And then once they're in the program, social media is only a blessing. It's what saved the program during COVID. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a challenges and then there's a lot of benefits as well. I, I get that. Uh, so you're the latest uh, leader in a long line. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, what you know about the history of the Girl Scouts on Guam, because it goes back uh, decades, right? Yeah, so we're um, at our 87th year here on Guam Girl, for Guam Girl Scouts. Um, we didn't get to have our big celebration because of our 85th anniversary because of COVID. So we're looking at maybe possibly having a delayed celebration or bringing it up to our, what would be 90th then. Um, that's all in the works. Again, I just took over the position. So there's a lot of information to sort through. Um, but we did just celebrate uh, Girl Scouts Founders Day um, as an organization for Girl Scouts. Um, our founder, Juliet Gordon Lowe, her birthday is on Halloween and that's what we consider Founders Day. So Girl Scouts just had our birthday on Halloween. Um, and the troops are encouraged to celebrate with a reinvestiture ceremony, which is, again, October is our yearly month, the month we start yearly. So um, a lot of people had a birthday party for Juliet Gordon Lowe this past week. So that was exciting. All right. Uh, so, Allison, uh, uh, you're, you're uh, trying to recruit uh, another 400 or so. Um, girls to the Girl Scouts. So here's your chance to give us a, your best pitch for uh, for joining the Girl Scouts. Go go ahead. Oh goodness, nothing like being on the spot, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're just super encouraged to have you all in our lives, and it's such a blessing. So um, I just encourage you to reach out, see if you have any friends that are Girl Scouts. I encourage you to give us a try. Um, we are available to walk you through the program at our office. We would love to have you. And um, this Girl Scout cookie season is going to be amazing. And it's just an opportunity to meet girls all over the world. Um, this summer is our Girl Scout conference, which is in Orlando. And there's opportunities to get you there. Um, so just come check us out. Come meet us. And we promise you it will be a life-changing opportunity. All right. Allison Hermanson, she is the new executive, executive director of the Guam Girl Scouts. Thanks for joining us, Allison. Thank you so much for having me. It was a pleasure to meet you. In Full Zoom is presented by Calvo Enterprises, Inc. and IT&E.